Hello. Hello. Yeah. So what? So what had happened? What's tea? What happened, ho? Girl. Yeah. You ready to cut up on this line? <laughs> let's let's about go. To. Let's go. Welcome, you guys. Welcome back to another episode here with Famous Tees. You two fabulous motherfucking South Floridian, Florida water, storm thumping, weather magic moving ass hoes, bitch, on the yes. south side. On the south side. And just to let you girls know, Raina Tees is available for bookings and or spell work, honey. Get your hot plate down in the description box below. We'll be leaving links. Contact us. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Raina Tees. So in this video, I want to talk about the importance of matching magical energy and intent with the physical world. What I mean by this is if you do love magic to attract a relationship into your life, you have to match this energy by going to places that single people frequent. Going to public settings where you will attract the energy that you put out. This can even happen online. You can attract someone over the internet as well, through social media, through online dating apps. What matters is that you put yourself out there. If you don't put yourself out there, the magic is just going to become stagnant, okay? No one is going to come knocking at your door proclaiming that you are the love of their life. This is not a movie or a series, okay? You have to put yourself in spaces and places and give the magic something to work with. Magic is a very powerful tool, but it works best in the path of least resistance. The more paths you have open for the magic to work through, the easier and faster it will manifest. In this new day and age, it's going to be much more difficult to find new love. It's much more difficult to meet new people when there is a alleged pandemic that is transmitted basically through saliva. That means you have to think twice before kissing someone new, breathing the same air as them. There's even been a cock block put on love magic by this virus. Or the media portrayal of this virus and the governmental response of this virus. So yes, there's been a cock block put on magic by this. Especially love magic concerning meeting new people. It's not impossible, but it's more difficult at this moment with all of these restrictions to go out, to go on dates, to see people's faces, like you can't even go in public and really see anybody's face. I mean, talking is limited now. Yeah, there's a huge, huge cock block put on love magic right now and finding love. It really is, and it's unfortunate. 
So now we're going to move on to money magic. When it comes to money and success magic, putting your best foot forward is essential for the ritual and spell work to be successful. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot do a ritual or spell work for an increase in money, for a job or career, and do nothing to supplement the magic. If you do a ritual for money, you should have an avenue set in place for that money to flow through. Do you have a business set up? Do you have a side hustle that's taking off? This is very important because the more avenues you have opened for the money to come into, the faster and greater the amount will be, okay? When doing spell work for a new job or career, you gotta have that resume on point. Your experience, the years that you have worked, your skills, you gotta have it on point. Magic works in the path of least resistance. So you got to have everything on point. On top of the magic. You just can't be having like a... I mean, you know, it can work. You can have a trash ass resume and come wearing, you know, some raggedy motherfucking clothes. But you're creating resistance. So it may take longer. You know what I'm saying? For the magic to hit. So yeah, you got to have the resume on point. I personally like to put a sigil of the spirit I'm working with somewhere on the resume, even in zero opacity. What matters is that it's there. And I had, and I, I have... <laughs> the sigil of a spirit on my personal resume and I also had the sigil of the spirit on my portfolio yeah like on my portfolio cover I put the sigil or like a, a part of it because I made it really huge so it could like uh, only a part of it would be like on the cover you know so Yes. So you have to apply to as many places that fit the criteria of the job you are looking for. Like every single day you have to be applying. You can't just apply to like two places and then wait two weeks. You know what I'm saying? You literally have to apply to like 10 places every single day. Like every day, look for something. There shouldn't be one day that goes by that you're not looking or applying somewhere. You got to have conviction. Because when you do that ritual, <laughs> conviction is what you push into the universe to manifest your will. But your energy in the physical got to match it. A lot of times, multiple day ritual work is extremely important for things like job and career searching, especially when times are rough like they are now when you feel like the odds are against you you gotta get in that ritual and put 
in every day and match that energy by looking for the job you want applying everywhere you will get the calls you will get the interviews it's up to you to make it to the appointments it's up to you to be there on time it's up to you to answer those interview questions correctly it's up to you to make that good first impression okay you gotta meet the magic halfway period regardless of this no matter what the ritual or spell work is you have to match it in the real world well 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 this is true this this is true but this rule definitely has an exception and that exception is black magic curses hexes and slayages this is the only magic that you do not have to meet halfway in the physical realm with intent or energy when you cast the black magic curse it is sent out into this world and into this universe to become manifest in the physical realm you are not required to do anything else after you have thrown the curse at your victim multiple day or week spell work ritual work may be necessary though what can make a black magic curse or hex work faster and harder and more aggressive is the level in which you know your victims if your victim is an ex-lover or friend, family member, co-worker, <laughs> someone who you interact with in the physical realm, the magic will be more aggressive. If your victim is a stranger or even a public figure, it may take even years for the curse to manifest for reference please watch my Zagrim Donald Trump curse video it took two years literally to the day for it to become manifest Donald Trump in his presidential prime was the most powerful man on this earth now he carries the virus and his antibodies inside of his body and he has been kicked off of his throne <laughs> regardless of what form of magic spell work or ritual work you perform patience confidence commitment and dedication is what will carry you to your ritual and spell work results let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.